What's up, everybody? We're back. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, so uh, a band that uh, Adrian and I apparently saw live, but I don't remember them at all because this was like 12 years ago. Uh, August Burns Red. They just recently released a new record entitled Death Below on March 24th. And uh, we have not heard them. I've never heard a single studio album from them or studio track from them, uh, to my knowledge. Uh, this is this single is called Backfire, released back in January. But we figured we'd start with this one and see where it takes us. Uh, while you're here, give us a like, give us a subscribe. We put out weekly metal content, reactions, reviews, and all that in between. All right, gentlemen. Here we go. From Down Under? Is that what you said? No. <laughs> that was the last band. Oh, wrong band. Okay, this is really good. Proper use of a blast beat. Just saying. Yeah. I like that it's not overly fast, last beat. Yeah, it's mixed in where you can still hear everything. Yes. Like even over that lead. Right. I love that guitar tone, by the way. Dude, I am loving this. Fade out or what? Yeah, 
the anthem anthems don't have to sound fucking lame. Yeah. That was a, a dig at power metal, babe. I don't like you. <laughs> Dude, that was fucking awesome, bro. That was the shit, that was, man. That was wow. Uh, I don't want to go first because I'm still trying to process my All right. thoughts on this. Adrian, go. So uh, I think we have seen them live, Dave. I, I could be fucking wrong. And this is a band that I've been hearing, you know, their name for you know well over a decade. Again, we may may not have seen them live, uh, but they just kind of always flew under the radar for me. So it's interesting hearing this now, uh, you know, after all this time. And man, dude, these guys are these guys sound fucking amazing. <laughs> I, I always love metalcore. Uh, yeah, uh, I have a soft I spot just, for it. Yeah, I, I really do. It's probably like outdated, and I don't know. It feels like it's coming back, and I'm glad. And it's well, it's coming back in a in a in a, in a big way, never left, right? But yeah, <laughs> it's coming back in a big way. And these guys, man, dude, like this this shit is fucking great. Like I want to well, hear fucking more. So we, wow. I mean, we grew up around that perfect time, like in o three o five. Uh, you know that and little that's era when we were in high school. Right? Yeah, so like, you know, yeah, I. I you know I mainly follow Trivium, but like as I lay dying, uh, all that remains was around that time as well, Kill or Switch. not long after Kill Switch. Uh, <laughs> and August Burns Red was always a band that I had like associated with that group. Like I knew of them among that crowd. But yeah. to your point, they kind of like they kind of like swam away. Like they just weren't a part of that of of what I listened to. Like I I really listened to like as I lay dying and Trivium. And kill switch, and I, I was, I kind of felt content at the time. I was like, ah, I, I got my metalcore fill. I never really expanded, um, and now I feel foolish. Unearth, Unearth we forgot. That Unearth, one. yes, one. and yeah. and I, I feel super <laughs> foolish because if their other material is even, I, I, it probably is better than this. I have no idea. Let us know in the comments. Is this on par with their best material? And what other August Burns Red songs we need to check out potentially? But, uh, dude, I, I loved pretty much every aspect. I liked the vocals, the guitar work, the solos, the production value. Um, I don't know. It, 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 yeah. I'm biased because, like I said, I have a soft spot for metalcore. So this checked a lot of boxes for me. Uh, do you have anything else to add, to, uh, Adrian? Yeah, I don't mean to stroke uh, uh, the uh, three of us or the four of us here, but this is also very, very similar to the style of music we used to write. Uh, or not, we, but we were not as good. Kind of- we were, we're not, not as good. good. Let's let's good. let's let's, good. let's clarify yeah. that. Let's let's just smash that real quick. We were not as good. Uh, uh, I would say, I would say we fell under the metalcore banner. Correct. Right? If if and, if we had to label yeah. us. Right. So, uh, yeah, it's just, it, it makes me, uh, it just gives me the tingles hearing this. Yeah, I love it. Good shit. Jason, yeah, Jason I, what do you I, got? I really, really like the musicianship, the music side of it, the all the instrumentation. Uh, I'm on the fence on the vocals only because I don't know. And this is, look, this is not a, a slight. I'm not trying to uh, dis- besmirch any of this. I'm just saying that there were parts that were played where it didn't feel like that style of vocal was the, the, the right way to sing uh, in certain parts of the songs. Only because the the I really liked, especially in the beginning. I really liked the, there was a in the in the first sections of it the the guitar work, uh, and it just feels like there was. It was a little bit of a disconnect for me on whether or not I liked the vocal tracks over the top of that. But then it would go into some other sections and the vocals were perfect, like absolutely perfect for what you were hearing. Uh, and then to get an anthem style, like I'm a, I'm a simp for anthem styles of music. So I, I loved all of the end of it. Very good. I was, uh, like I said, I, my only issue with this is, on whether or not I really, really like it or I just like it is just whether or not I kept getting distracted by uh, the vocals in unison with what I was hearing musically. Like there was, mm. I don't know if, I don't, I don't think we needed him to actually sing or take it down a notch. But it just felt like he stayed the same, but the music behind him was kind of uh, morphing and changing a little bit here and there. Again, very good. I really like the the music sense, uh, the side of it. 
more yeah. than the vocal side. But would I you want? Would you be outside. curious to hear more, Jason? <clears throat> Absolutely. Well, Absolutely. man, there there are some uh, transitions in this that were just fucking stellar, and it's real quick. I don't want to again just throw some uh, some uh, you know thumbs up to the fucking drummer here because uh, he, the way blast beats were used in this were fucking phenomenal, mixed yeah. great, and uh, the transitions. Uh, I feel like the it was the drummer kind of holding all that shit down. Yeah. Uh, so good shit. Yeah, even like the blast beats over like just the ringing guitars when it actually the the guitars were getting softer and he was blast beating over that towards like the bridge section leading into the anthematic like close Mm -hmm. uh i love that i was like dude that that works and it kind of shouldn't work uh but it worked um but hey very interesting but hey let us know what other august burns red songs uh we should react to uh i feel like in tradition whenever josh isn't here we we listen to the to the to like some of the best stuff uh but uh but hey let us know what other august burns red songs we should be listening to in the comments below and hey give us a like give us a subscribe we put out weekly metal content reactions reviews all kinds of good stuff in the meantime live long and prosper take it easy everybody see you Later.